Greetings, chemistry students. I am Mr. Jeffcoat, your honors chemistry teacher. Uh, I'll be uploading daily lessons for you to hopefully learn from. I'll try to keep them reasonably short because you know, time is valuable and I don't want to waste your time. So let's go on and get started. Um, a little bit about me. Uh, although I was born and raised in Columbia, South Carolina, I went to high school in Raleigh, North Carolina, and then I attended college at NC State after I graduated. This is my 17th year teaching. It's my 15th year here at Topsail High School. I have a Bachelor of Science in Science Education and a Bachelor of Arts in Chemistry from NC State, so with that. And I have a Master's degree in Science Education from East Carolina. And in addition to all of that, uh, while teaching science here at Topsail High School, I also sponsor the Science Olympiad team, and I'm also the graduation coordinator for the school. So if you have other questions about me, feel free to ask whenever we meet in person. I'm not going to insult your intelligence by reading through the entire thing, but I do want to point out a few highlights. You're going to have assignments to do every day. Uh, please turn your work in on time. Uh, academic integrity, please don't cheat. Uh, for tutoring, um, I'm available every afternoon from 3.30 to 4. I can meet with you virtually. If you're at home, I can meet with you in person. If you're in school, uh, in the mornings, if you make an appointment with me, I can be there. Uh, but... I have some other obligations as well in the mornings. Um, I have a retake policy on tests, which I'll explain whenever we get to our first test. Uh, required materials. As far as a calculator, if you have a device that has a calculator on it, such as whatever you're using to watch this video, oh, maybe a Chromebook, it has a calculator built into it, or it should have. you should have access to a calculator on there, or Desmos, or something like that. You'll need that to be able to do homework and tests and things like that. Uh, the most important thing is when you come to school in person, you need to bring your school-issued Chromebook that is charged and ready to go. Um, if you're wondering what types of supplies I would need in the classroom, um, a key thing would be if you're able to bring in a gallon of distilled water, it's like less than a dollar at the grocery store, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps when I'm making up chemicals. And anytime you need to get into contact with me, the best ways to reach me are through email, which is printed at the bottom of the syllabus, or you can send a text message to my Google Voice number. The other thing you should have picked up is a copy of the chemistry reference tables. This is like your uh, Bible for chemistry. It's got all sorts of good stuff in it that you're gonna need to know. It's got most of the formulas that we use. Right in the middle, it's got a periodic table that you can use. And you'll be able to use reference tables on every test that you take in my class. So anytime you take a test, you'll be able to use the reference tables. It's going to be good stuff. So make sure you have them. Make sure you keep up with them. You're going to want those. All right. If you need help, you can email me, you can text my Google Voice number, I can schedule a Google Meet with you, I can do it during first period, which is my planning, or after school, and I'm available for tutoring when your cohort's in session uh, by appointment. Uh, please note that if you use any of these first three options to meet with me, it does generate public records under North Carolina law. That are, uh, that's part of the North Carolina open records statutes. So. I figure I might throw in a little bit of an actual uh, science content for today. So we're going to talk briefly about what is chemistry. And chemistry is the study of matter. There's another uh, subject that deals with everything that's not matter, which is what we call energy, and that's physics. So physics is the study of energy. Chemistry is the study of matter. If you put them together, you get this thing called physical science, which is another class that we offer at Topsail High School. And so matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. So 
if it occupies space and essentially you could weigh it, then it is matter. Now a question that I commonly get is, well, is air, like the air in this room, is that matter? So I've got a quick way to answer that question. So first I have this digital scale right here. All right, so I have this balloon and I'm going to weigh it. And it weighs 3.01 grams. And then I'm going to blow this balloon up. And I'm going to weigh it now. And it weighs. 3.13 grams, which means that the air in this balloon has a mass of 0 0.12 grams, and it takes up space because it has filled up the balloon, so the air inside this balloon does constitute matter. It takes up space, and it has mass. So that is your very first chemistry lesson.